Currently working on a Mazda BT50. This is the same as the Ford Ranger. It's got a 2.5 diesel engine in it and age range is 2006 to 2011, I believe. Fault on this one, engine management light on, down in power, stuck in limp mode. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what caused that and how I fixed it. <laughs> So the first thing I do is bring this vehicle for a road test, confirm the fault. You can see here it's stuck in limp mode, won't go past 2,500 RPM. I also scan the vehicle fault code P0108, which is manifold absolute pressure sensor circuit high fault code is stored. So live data test drive is what I'm looking for next. On the bottom there, you can see map 5.11 volts. That is confirming we have a high circuit fault. No matter what RPM range I go to, no matter what drive um, cycle that we go through it's stuck at that high circuit fault and when it's stuck at the high circuit I know the next thing I have to do is bring it back to the workshop and do some quick testing on that sensor and the next clip you're going to see is me just finishing off the road test on the day in question. So driving this BT50 every time you get up near two and a half thousand RPM it completely limits out. Engine management light is on and we have got a map sensor fault. Now back at the workshop I do the simple task of gaining access to that map sensor and I want to inspect it. Uh, I also do uh, off camera some quick checks on the actual wiring of that sensor itself which all showed up fine. I do have an in-depth video on map sensor testing step by step which I will link in the description I've had that on my channel before if you want to check that out for some DIY tips included this one just remove I wanted to see how heavily carboned up it was and in this case it actually was these are very simple to gain access to it's just a simple bracket that needs to go out of the way and you have access to the uh, sensor itself. In this case, it was a bit jammed, so I get the pry tool so I can force it up out of position. They can jam in there a bit when the seal is nice and tight. And this one has a decent amount of carbon buildup on the top of it. So what I did then uh, for quick testing purposes is I cleaned it up. Uh, I just made sure I got everything off so it could read as good as possible to see if there was any change after cleaning and reinstall, see if we could get any voltage to actually read, get, get rid of the uh, stuck high side. But long story short on this one, the cleaning process didn't change anything at all. I put it all back together did a quick check and it was still stuck at that five plus volt range after that i then um spoke to the customer got to go ahead for a new sensor and after the new sensor was installed it was time to bring it for a road test and confirm we have rectified this issue and as you can see the reading is at two volts there and we are getting a response when we um throttle on and off we can get a voltage change and we're also getting a reading change there and beforehand it was completely dead we had no response and it had just maxed out on the high side so I'm just coming back off the end of this road test now new map sensor is installed and all performance is back as soon as I installed the sensor I knew it was good checking the live data the high 5 volt that it was stuck on returned back to around 2 volts instantly so before I started the engine I knew that this issue was pretty much resolved now bringing it for the test drive you are able to see that it can rev above the two and a half that it was restricted at. That power performance is all returned, engine lights off and monitoring the live data. As you can see here, we have the full range of movement depending on load conditions. I do have a much more extensive map sensor testing and analysis video that I've done in the past. I'll link that in the description if anyone wants to check that out. There's a lot of good information in there. This is just a quick what the problem was, what the fault code was. So if you have this make and model vehicle, you will be able to get a better picture if you, um, if you want to fix it. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ooh.